Christmas tree. I like that. Nah, you gotta have the real thing. Real thing? Got any idea what these trees cost nowadays? I mean, go out shop around the bitter cold. It's just a big hassle. That's why you buy it, reuse it every year. There's nothing to it, not if you know what you're doing. I never knew you were a Christmas tree expert. I used to work in the tree lot when I was a kid next to my uncle's tavern. That's when I learned the secret. The secret? Having the most beautiful tree you ever saw. Well, that's simple. You just go out with the right amount of money and you buy the best. Uh, it's not money. It's not money? This coming from the same guy who said he didn't believe in Santa Claus? Because anybody getting in and out of so many houses without being seen must be taking stuff and not leaving it? All right, wise guy. Indulge me. <laughs> I'm all ears. It was maybe 30 years ago. I was in the lot the night before Christmas Eve. No customers for two hours. Maybe a couple dozen trees left, so I was gonna close up. When a young couple comes in. Now, I don't know them by name, but they live down the street in a dumpy three-flat. They asked me the price for a sort of nice one. It was eight or nine bucks. They don't say anything. They just put it down. They keep looking. But that close to Christmas, the trees have been picked over good. How about this one? But when I gave them the price on a decent one, they just shook their heads. But then they go over to this scotch pine that had to be the most pathetic tree we had, missing about half its branches. I told them they'd have a hard time making it look good, no matter how much tinsel they put on it. Then they picked up another tree that was damn near as pathetic. And he asked me if I'll take three bucks for the two of them. Nobody's gonna buy those trees anyway, so I told them they had a deal. As they walked away, I told them to spend a few dollars more and get a nice tree. Is that it? The next night, I happened to be walking past their building. I looked at their window, and I can see a tree. I couldn't see it all, but what there was looked good. Lights were on. So, what the heck? They let me in, and I almost fell over. It was the most beautiful tree I ever saw. So thick, it was almost like a bush. They told me that they took the two trees, tied the trunks together, and the branches overlapped, forming a tree that was like a tiny forest. Oh. Thinking of those two orphan trees, which would have been tossed out, made me feel good too. So that's the secret. Take two trees that aren't perfect, that have flaws, that might be homely, that maybe nobody else wants. Thanks, Rosalind. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, wie 
But if you put them together just right, you can come up with something really beautiful. Like two people, I guess.